Hey there for the square peg for the peg board project. You want to open up Fusion 360. <clears throat> Make sure you are still in inches and that your Y axis is up. If you change to inches already, it should stay there. On the top left, you want to just double check the data panel that you're in pegboard toy, you're in your project. If you're not and you need to find it, go to home, the little house, and then click on whichever project you have and then you'll be good. I'm going to double click in here, make sure I'm in there, and then I could just X this. I already have one thing made. I'm going to make the square peg. Okay, I have a new project. They always open one for you. You can make as many as you want. Just keep going. And let's do uh, create a new sketch. We're also going to make this on the XZ plane. I'm going to click that, and you'll see top rotate. I chose that plane. I'm going to just use a rectangle tool. <clears throat> it says two-point rectangle. I'm going to click on the origin. I have a little lag. Sorry about that. I'm going to drag to the right. And I can type in as I go. See how they're blue? I can type in one and then tab on my keyboard one and hit enter. Oops, I did not mean too many mics. No, it does not matter what side of the origin you did it on as long as it's on there. If you missed entering those, you can always use the dimension tool. It's up here. It looks like a football field goal. You click on it, click on one side, and then put in your number. Or you can double click this, and you can change the number there. Finish your sketch to change the toolbar. Hit extrude and extrude it three inches. Drag or type. And then while you're here, you may as well learn this is a dialog box, and this is a marking menu. Hit enter. And then that's pretty much it. Super simple part. I'm going to hit um, the mouse wheel and I'm going to press it down so I can use pan. That is this function down here. I can click it, hit pan. Usually a test question, that's why I bring it up. Okay, so we want to left click and drag across everything and then hit a on the keyboard or right click to bring up the marking menu. Looks like I have a lag here. This is a marking menu that used to always be a test question. Um, something that looks like this. Hit appearance. You can also do appearance by hitting A on your keyboard. And type in the color that you want to make your square peg. Remember to have a color scheme as part of your overall project. I think I was in aluminum for my last one, so I'll use it again. I don't remember if I was glossy or rough. I can always go back because it's really easy to do, right? Type in any color you want. Type in any material you want. You get a little library. If you have something you like, you can favorite it. I don't know how. Add to favorites. Right click, add to favorites. Yeah, and then it'll make you a list. So I'm going to drag it. Drag it right onto your object. And then it's good. It's on there. Not too too much contrast, but not too bad. So that's in there, and you're good. Okay, um, go to the File menu, top left, looks like a piece of paper, and then Save, and you want to call it the Square Peg, and just double check that it's in your, it should default, hit Save. So sometimes you do this, and you hit Save, and everything's great, and then you X out, and you don't see this again, it needs time to get uploaded. So if you're leaving Fusion, go to your initials and sign out that way. Thanks for watching.